In this video, I'm going to utilize Process Runner Excel add-in. I'm going to click on the Process Runner Excel add-in tab now. From here, I have the menu options available to me to run the transaction code CA02. This is actually a GUI scripting file. What it's going to allow me to do is to use a seek and replace feature of Process Runner, where it's actually going to search for the work center number in column C. And then once it finds the work center number, it then is going to change the value of setup, machine, and labor. And it's going to do that for each of these work center numbers for each of these materials. What I'm going to do now is bring up SAP here. And I'm just going to show you this material 100-200, the second material here. And I'm going to look at the work centers 1115 and 1720. These are the last two rows here. I'm going to scroll over and we'll just take a look now at the setup machine and labor values. So here we have 3, 3, and 3, which is going to change to 2015 and 15. And also for the last material, the 1720, I'm going to change that from 505. I'm going to change that to 15, 10, and 10. I'm going to minimize SAP here now. Go ahead and click on this Run button here. Now I'm going to select to start and use a new SAP GUI session. Once I do this, I can log into the default SAP system, or if I click on the System button here, I could choose an additional SAP system from my SAP landscape. Go with that default one here. I have the username and password already pre-configured. I'm going to click the OK button. Now we're going to run that GUI scripting file. There you can see the little barbershop sign there. It just says SAP GUI scripting script is running. And so this is a real-time uh, SAP GUI scripting technology for Process Runner works in real time. So we're going to see the screen flicker here as it processes this. There you can see it's uh, going through, searching for each of those values and then replacing them uh, for the setup machine and labor. And once this completely finishes out, we'll just take a quick look in SAP and just verify that the changes have been properly made for that material 100-200. You'll notice that I was able to run this from Excel. So Excel is my interface to SAP. Basically, a designer or super user has embedded this GUI scripting file inside of this Excel spreadsheet. Because I have the Process Runner Excel add-in license, I'm then able to utilize Process Runner Excel add-in with Excel as my interface to SAP. So we are finished out here. And it's just going to take a couple more seconds for this to totally complete here. There you can see that it is finishing completely now. And so let's take a look at that uh, material, that 100-200 here. Now let's refresh this in SAP. I'm just going to put in the CA03 one more time here. And let's take a look at this now with the values having been refreshed. We'll scroll over here. And there we can see right there we've got our setup has changed to 20, uh, machine 15, labor 15. And then if I look at the 1720 value, uh, there we have the setup is 15, machine is 10, and the labor is 10. So I was able to utilize the seek and replace feature of Process Runner, as well as the looping feature, which allows me to work with multi-line items, able to replace the setup machine and labor values based on the value of the work center in column C. Thank you for watching.